this concept, the only question asked is finding the unknown number, but with different parameters. So let's get started. Find a number such that when 15 is subtracted from 7 times the number, the result is 10 more than twice the number. Here the number is unknown. So let's assume the number to be x. And the question says that when 15 is subtracted from 7 times the number, 7 times the number can be written as 7x. And they are saying 15 is subtracted. So let's write as minus 15. This is equal to, they are saying the result is 10 more than twice the number. So twice the number is 2x. 10 more means we need to add 10. This is the expression. So let's solve this. 5x will be 25 and x will be 5. This is the answer. Let's do one more question. The sum of two numbers is 184. If one third of 1 exceeds 1 seventh of the other by 8, find the small number. Here they said there are two numbers. So let's take it as x and y. And they said the sum is 184. So x plus y is 184. Or I can write y is 184 minus x. Then it is said that one third of one of the number. So one third of x exceeds one seventh of the other. So one seventh of other means let's take it as y. When they say exceed, we need to take this subtraction. And the result is 8. Now in this expression, I can substitute the value of y, x by 3 minus 1 by 7 into 184 minus x is 8, 7x minus 3 into 184 minus x is 168, 10x is 720 or x is 72. If x is 72, then what is y? y will be 184 minus 72. This is 112 and they are asking the smaller number. So that smaller number is 72. Okay, let's try one more. The sum of the two numbers is 10 and the sum of the reciprocals is 5 by 12. Find the numbers. Again here, there are two numbers. So let's take it as x and y and they said sum is 10. So x plus y is 10. Then they said the sum of the reciprocals that is 1 by x plus 1 by y is 5 by 12. Now from these two expressions, we need to find the numbers. So let me simplify this. We can write this as x plus y by xy is 5 by 12. In this, I can substitute this. So I can write it as 10 by xy is 5 by 12 or xy is 24. Now to solve the expression, let me take another formula x plus y whole square minus x minus y whole square is 4xy. So this expression can be used to solve this. So this is 10 square minus x minus y whole square is equal to 4 into 24. From this we can get xy as 2. Now we have x plus y and x minus y. Using these two equations, let's get the answers. x plus y is 10, x minus y is 2. When we add these two, 2x is 12 or x is 6. Now let me substitute this over here. 6y is 24, y is 4. Therefore, the answers are x equal to 6 and y equals 4. Here is the last question. Three numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 5. The sum of their squares is 1862. Find the numbers. Let's assume the three numbers to be ABC. So A is to B is to C is given. That is 3 is to 2 is to 5. So I can safely assume A as 3x, B as 2x and C as 5x. And they said the sum of their squares is 1862. That is 3x square plus 2x square plus 5x square is 1862. 
this is 9x square plus 4x square plus 25x square is 1862 or 38x square is 1862 x square is 49 and x is 7 but this is not the answer they're asking us the numbers so when we substitute this x equal to 7 in these expressions we get the values as 21 14 and let's do a few more questions from this topic the sum of two numbers is 15 and the sum of their squares is 113 find the numbers here they said two numbers so let the two numbers be x and y and they said the sum is 15 so x plus y is 15 from this i can write y is 15 minus x then they said the sum of their squares that is x square plus y square is 113 from this we need to find the numbers so in this y let me substitute this 15 minus x we can add this as x square plus 15 minus x whole square equals 113 this is x square plus 225 plus x square minus 30x is 113 that is 2x square minus 30x plus 112 equals 0 or x square minus 15x plus 56 is 0 so x minus 7 into x minus 8 is 0 therefore x is 7 or 8 now to get the value of y We'll use this particular expression so if x is 7 then y is 15 minus 7 that is 8 or if x is 8 y is 15 minus 8 that is 7 so basically these are the only two numbers if one is x the other one is y here we have another question the ratio between a two digit number and the sum of the digits of that number is 4 is to 1 if the digit in the units place is 3 more than the digit in the tens place, what is the number? Here they mentioned that units place number is 3 more than the digit in the tens place. So let me assume the digit in tens place as x. And it's given that units place number is 3 more than the tens place. So it will be x plus 3. Now from these both I can write the number as the place value is 10 into x because it's in tens place and this is x plus 3 into 1 because it's in units place this is the number so this is 11x plus 3 apart from this we also need to know the sum of the digits so let me write the sum of the digits x plus x plus 3 because these are the two digits so this is 2x plus 3 the ratio between these two numbers is given as 4 is to 3 so i can write it as 11x plus 3 by 2x plus 3 is 4 by 1. And we solve this 11x plus 3 equals 8x plus 12, 3x is 9 or x is 3. But this is not the number, the number is over here. The number is 11x plus 3, so 11 into 3 plus 3, that is 36. This is the answer. Let's try one more. If the digits of a two digit number are interchanged, the number formed is greater than the original number by 45. If the difference between the digits is 5, what is the original number? Here we need to understand one thing. When we interchange the numbers, the number value is increasing. That means that units place is actually higher than the tens place. So let me take the tens place as x. They said the difference between the digits is 5. Therefore, I can take units place as x plus 5. From these two, I can write the number. The number is 10 into x plus x plus 5. That is 11x plus 5. And then they're talking about the interchanging of the numbers. So let me write the interchange in numbers. This is 10 times of this one plus one time of this one because we have interchanged the digits this is 11x plus 50 and they also mentioned that when we interchange the number value has increased by 45 so when we take the difference of these two it should be 45 so the interchange number minus the original number should be 45 
this is 11x plus 50 minus 11x plus 5 should be 45 this is 45 equals 45 the value x is being eliminated over here now when we get into this sort of a scenario we cannot solve further therefore we can say this as the number cannot be determined or the data is insufficient to solve this question. So that's the end for problems on numbers.